Ah. <laughs> Chin up, Nasha. We'll buy you a new drum kit. This is exactly what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. <laughs> oh, I love you. Just tell us what we can afford. Drum <laughs> solo! That's all we can afford? What are we going to do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Beano Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Beano Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done, Paul. Never ending on and on and on and on. Never ending on and on and on. <laughs> Where we sign up for Battle of the Bands? <laughs> Dennis! Yes, thank goodness! <laughs> and there it is, boys! First prize! <laughs> so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter. <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just fill in the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> No, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we gonna do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we gotta do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> <laughs> Orders. Home. Now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild. Someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? <sighs> Homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. <laughs> We must know some grown-up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too... um... dead. More biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <gasps> Mum, she'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? Hey, where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla at them. All oh, right. 
Eh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing! There are no other entrants! I'm cancelling the competition! Just please stop! So, what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes! Fine! All right! Whatever! Just take the drums and go! Golly, we won something! Mother will be so proud! Pause off, boys! <laughs> this show ain't over! Meet the newest member of the Din Makers! Hello! He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up! <laughs> 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 Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion, there can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown up human man. <laughs> the end. We are Walter and the Whalers. Thank you, Bino Town, and good night. This is going to be one. Epic walkover. Okay, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> 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 How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> <laughs> My sad duty to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man. <laughs> Since the din makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Okay, this is not good. Play! If we can get them gorillas dancing again, we can stop this. <laughs> Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers, featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Detention. Sorry, but we just can't do this. Detention.
attention, places to go, people to menace. Well, you should have thought of that earlier, shouldn't you, Dennis? Please, Mrs Creature. It'll clear in a few hours. I promise I'll make it up to you. You'll make it up to me by writing a thousand times I will not make stink bombs ever again! Oh, this is bad. Really bad. Oh, what's wrong, Dennis? We've done loads of detentions. Yeah, and it's not that long a sentence. Yeah, but Mayor Scrimp's unveiling his new statue at five o'clock. <laughs> 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 Time for some menacing genius. I have to be there. <gasps> 3.30. Better get a Code 1 menace alert to Nasha to help spring us. <gasps> a Code 1? One? Trust me, it'll be worth it. Okay. Time for Plan B. What about the torturing teacher over there? This calls for a 40 wink blink think to get us out of the clink. And I know just the think. <laughs> I, I mean, thing. And the key for the ref is to make sure the last defender is in line. <laughs> Offside rule nap attack. Works every time. Real curly. Now, let's bust out of here, find Nasha, and leg it to the park. Another faulty ball. I must have a word with the manufacturers. OK. Plan C. <laughs> Aha! The confiscation cupboard. Should be one or two useful things of mine in there. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 Phew! That was close. Who's good at tying knots? No, 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 Dudley. You've got it all wrong. It was Marla's seventh symphony that was in E minor. What the? Uh, well, well, well. I wonder what the headmaster would say if he saw this. Let's find out, shall we? Real plan, Dennis. Just enough time to get a quick bite of pie. No can do. We've got to get to the park before five. Um, <clears throat> Dennis. Sir, this is just the kind of irresponsible behaviour I've come to expect from these rapscallions. What? You snitch, Walter! Uh, what he means is we were just checking that the emergency escape routes are working, you know, in case of an emergency. Yeah, no, that all seems to be fine. Oh, please! You're not going to fall for that, are you, Headmaster? What? Oh, no, of course not. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, of course you weren't. You're much, much, much older than that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It's better if I keep an eye on them from now on. I already know the offside rule. Sure, Headmaster. Yes, yes, don't worry. I've recruited a little extra help. Jump to it, men. I want those prisoners contained. Whatever it takes. He's been listening to too many of the Colonel's war stories. Walter's not the only one we have to get past. No worries. Headmaster, have you met Paul the Potato? Paul oh, thinks you are feeling very sleepy. Oh. Oh. oh, I see what you're doing. Well, you won't catch me. I mean... Well done, Pie Face. You too, Paul. Right, 
You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, definitely. Brilliant, Dennis. Genius. Yeah. No, sorry, no idea. It's finally time for Plan D. Cover me, men. I'm going in. They're coming! Stand by to repel! Fire fuck! A water pistol. This is a water pistol. <laughs> okay, so they have the doors and the windows covered. But we haven't tried going down. I'm starving. By my calculations, we should be underneath the perimeter fence around about mm, next Tuesday. Well, that's no good, Curly. Got to be there by five o'clock or we'll miss everything. <gasps> What's that noise? My stomach? Nope. I'd know that sound anywhere. <laughs> Brilliant, Nasha. I knew you'd get here. Eventually. Nash, Nash. Nasser got in. <gasps> we can go out the same way. And that's plan D and G. We'll get to the park if we double quick crawl. Lead the way, pie face. Oh, sorry, Dennis. Must have been the pies at lunch. Oh, we'll have to make the tunnel a lot bigger. Nasher will sort it out. Nash, Nash. <laughs> Fantastic! We'll be in the park in time. Ha! Keep it up, men. Those prisoners are slippery. Could pop up anywhere. <laughs> Free at last. Not on my watch. <laughs> Like I said, uh, I'm not the kind of fool to let myself be hypnotized. Ah, sorry, Dennis. It's half past four. I think it's game over. Game what? Over. Pfft, no way! We're Team Menace. We never give up. Evening, ladies. Good night, young man. All right. Remember our guard's motto. Be prepared for anything. Those prisoners could make a break for it at any moment. Doing here, boys. Detention finished half an hour ago. What? Uh, do tell Walter he can go. Poor boy will be guarding you all night otherwise. <laughs> what about Walter? Oh, we'll let him know eventually. <laughs> Come on! And it gives me great pleasure to <laughs> my statue. I don't know much about art, Nasha, but I know what I like. Nash, Nash, Nana, Nash. Only a few more hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to Plan L. Plan L? Like it! <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
suppose you think this is funny. Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, as this cress growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh. So, detention this weekend won't bother you, then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once-in-a-lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? Bye-bye. <laughs> Dennis, what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens! who are vampires, and they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast... <laughs> Who's Daddy's little darling, then? <laughs> so, Chris, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. <laughs> How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximise growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favourably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... <laughs> Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Has passed its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot Work, Dennis? Oh, it has to, Curly. We can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget you promised to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. <sighs> ah, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyphees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's <laughs> <old. laughs> I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that 
must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect Cress looks like. Who's ever seen Cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big Cress looks like. When they're grown up, Cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodged detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey crest. It's got larger and bitier. <laughs> there may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not Chris. You don't see Chris this big and eating things. Dennis? Uh, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Chris this big and eating things. And that's because... Uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our Cress got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown Cress is pies. <laughs> It must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pies. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing the pies past the sell by then. Dad's best shop assistants ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing. It's a good job we also have national power. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? Oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. Yes! Another 
great save by the Nashmeister. Huh? Yes. Huh? Oops. Smash, smash. Oh, smashing kick, Dennis. <laughs> I would describe that as a penalty kick, as the window's going to cost you... A whole year's pocket money. <laughs> what? No way. You know, Dennis, soccer takes sportsmanship, skill, control. Uh, give me back my ball, Walter. All of which I have. It's not about running around with a rubbish goalie like him. <laughs> rubbish? He's the best goalie there is. You'd never get one past Nasher. Oh, please. I could win against you in that mangy mutt any time, Dennis. OK, then. This Friday, my team versus yours. And winner pays for the window. You're on. By the way, I'm keeping hold of this in case you or it causes any more damage. Couldn't have put it better myself, B. Operation Menace match of the day. Empty your pockets. Right, it's a three-a-side game, so I'm centre forward. Nash is in goal. Curly, you're in defence. <laughs> what about me? Right, uh, you're the uh, the manager, of course. Oh. <laughs> All right then, lads. It's a game of two halves, but at the end of the day, we play to win. And, uh, you beat Walter. <laughs> yeah, we've got to smash Walter's defences. Oh, don't say mash. Paul's lost some of his best friends to mash. Smash, pie face, not mash. <laughs> <laughs> <Ha -oh>. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've lost you too, pie face. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, my house. Bring Dudley and bring sausages. Sausages? Yes, sausages. Dennis! Dennis! Show up some menace! Hooray! Hooray! Let's play some jolly good football today. Captains, over here, please. I'd just like to point out that I'm not just captain, I'm also club manager, coach, CEO and... A turnip. Who has the ball? I do, referee. Hey, that's my ball. Let's get this match underway. <laughs> What's going on, Nasha? Get back in goal. <laughs> A heinous misdemeanour has been committed. According to the official rules of grudge match football in the park, their team's disqualified. Game over. Uh, hello? Are you the referee? Do you have a whistle? Are you in charge? No. I'll say when the game is over. I'll give you one more chance. New ball, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. Nasha! Aww. Dennis's team disqualified. Yes! We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. What's got into Nasha? Bangers. What he means is a bang goes your chance of winning. <laughs> Nasha, what's got into you? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and here is the invoice for the repair to our window. Do pay promptly. Dad gave me that ball for Christmas. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <laughs> what? This smells like sausages. Time to call in the experts. I smell a foul. Menace Substation 3. What's up, Dennis? I need you at Menace HQ. Emergency code red. <sighs> oh, that's sneaky. That's very sneaky. Take a look at this, Dennis. 
See the tiny particles of sausage meat all over the material? Who'd want to make a sausage-flavoured football? Someone who wanted Nasha to destroy the football and lose the game. Walter! Walter. Walter. Rematch tomorrow. Why on earth would I agree to a rematch? Because if you don't, I'll tell everyone you cheated. <laughs> 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 we can't do that again. But how else could we beat them? Nasha's way too good at goal. Don't you worry about that dopey dog. I'm going to make sure they get disqualified for good this time. Ah, uh, uh, are they? Nasha's? Nasha's? These? No, they're my granddad's false teeth. I'm going to fix them to look just like Nasher's. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> ah. Now, is it clear who's in charge of this match, Walter? <laughs> Marks, you mean? Ugh, Nash has been nowhere near the ball. Uh, nash, nash, nash. Anyone have another ball? No. 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 Then it's game over. Meaning my team are still the winners. <laughs> oh dear, Dennis, you must feel so uh, deflated. <laughs> Stop, Dad. Bring B. Pie face. Get your beaniest pies. Ref, just give me that. <laughs> Kit, please. Well, I'm very impressed, Dennis. You can't allow this, Ref. Well, I'm sorry, Walter, but I'll bet there's not a single word about farting babies inflating footballs in the rules. <laughs> this isn't potty training. This is the beautiful game. Oh, what I call the beautiful game. Okay then, game on. <laughs> Well done, son. Put it there. Nasha, mate, come here. <laughs> 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 Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Nasha, Nasha. I'm Baby B. <laughs> Looks like I won't be needing this bill for a new window after all. <laughs>
little balloon fight later. Great, eh? Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? Uh, yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. It's so hard. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. <laughs> oh, Dennis! I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. Oh. Oh, oh Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait. Where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah, hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, golden menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> oh, I can't resist. Must menace. Army. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on. That's not snow. That's... Beautiful gelatos! Oh, 
Sasha. <laughs> hey! Oh, looks like we're on foot from here. And there's not much time left. The only way to get to school on time is if we go through... Ah! Oh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army, who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> and to the south, the brave Beano Town defenders, who were armed with custard pies. <laughs> The chances. Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Nasha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, Nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature? Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? Yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our lovely little boy. <laughs> Three people. 
people in one go. <laughs> hmm, not bad. But watch this. <laughs> I've still got a long way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day. Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to <laughs> win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies. But at my age, my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Ah. Get him. Uh -uh. Run. Oh, <laughs> Uh, where'd he go? Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. Well, how can we beat Grant's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha. I know how we'll win Grant's trophy. <laughs> see what we have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder, <laughs> and you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's pretty oh. Time for a menace makeover. <laughs> oh, hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog, Gummer. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, you brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognise me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No. I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? <laughs> oh, Dennis. Hmm. 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 Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Beano Town free of menaces? Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... <laughs> made with red hot chilies. <laughs> Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. <laughs> no, don't mention it. <laughs> hey, another two pranks done. Only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross the street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> I forgot I need to go to the shops. Oh. <laughs> oh, was I on the way to Bingo? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Beryl first. <laughs> After I've returned my library book. That was the optician. I'm the vet. <laughs> second thought, we'll just stand there. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? And the fake snake in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. And look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> oh, 
I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. Hey! <laughs> Got you, Gran! <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> no one suspects us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh, excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the print in this venue is far too small. Make my eyes go funny. <laughs> Something. His old people are nearly as bad as Dennis. What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking Beano town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's get them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> oh, Dennis the Menace! The one and only! <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> Ow! Gran! Well, I've got to start setting a new record. <laughs> 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 